Hi everyone, this is Jen. It's been a while since I updated the, the last video. Recently, I've been occupied to the uni work and I just finished my second year. So today, in today's video, I'd like to introduce you a kind of interesting article published in Indian Medical Journal. It's a preprint, non-peer review article. It's about uh, the, uh, the role of uh, Evermectin in the prevention of COVID-19. So what is Evermectin? Originally, Evermectin was um, anti-parasitic drug and it was founded in Japan by uh, Omura Satoshi and Campbell. And uh, it was officially being used uh, in clinical treatment in, in 1981. So what is the background story? So uh, before I started uh, to break down the journal, uh, I will pop the link in the description. If you are interested, please don't forget to uh, click the link and I'm more than willing to communicate the, any information related to the journal notes with you. So the background story for that uh, is mentioned in the journal is that uh, healthcare workers are vulnerable to get infected with SARS-CoV-19. So the scientists are thinking about uh, the whether the oral ivermectin as a cheap uh, prophylaxis uh, drug to the COVID-19. So they want to uh, investigate the efficacy or the how effective the oral ivermectin in the prevention of COVID-19. So when it is mentioned uh, a cheap drug, how cheap is it? Is it every kilo it cost one hundred sixty-eight dollar, which means it's no point no 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 one six eight per dollar per milligram, and uh, and then we can went through the method so that we can check the what is the dosage that needed uh, in in the in the standard units. So the places conducted the research was in the All India Institute of Medical Science and uh, in, a, in the capital city of the India. And then the dose, uh, in terms of dose, is two dose of oral Evermectin and every dose uh, corresponds to 300 milligrams per kilograms of body weight and the gap at uh, 72 hours, which is three days approximately. And the whole study was uh, was 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 in a, a manner of perspective rather than a retrospective. Prospective means uh, from now to the future, and a respective means from now to the to 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 to, to the previous period. So, uh, the study, according to the statistic, um, it was conducted uh, last year in twenty twenty. Yeah. And ended in December, so according to the math, three hundred milligrams per body weight. So three hundred milligrams equals the zero uh, point three milligrams, and the standard male adult body weight is about um, seventy kilograms, which is the, as a result for an adult male adult. It demands twenty one milligrams per dose, and we can say we can do some further calculation, and every dose is for one adult is about no point no no three five two eight dollar, which is quite cheap honestly. Especially, uh, Indians has its carrot has its speciality in produced a large amount of drug, so this is uh, a really a uh, cheap drug and hopefully it's effective and let's see the outcome and the recruitment three three thousand eight hundred and ninety two employee which is the uh, healthcare worker in India was recruited and three thousand five hundred and thirty two which is ninety point eight percent of the healthcare worker as a participant was recruited well recruited into the study and uh, 2,384 took 
ivermectin, and as for non took is one thousand one hundred and forty seven, which is thirty two thirty two point five percent of the total uh healthcare worker recruited in the study, and as a result. Three hundred and thirty-one participants developed the symp symptom of uh, COVID, and then and let's see what is the percentage the, in those two, uh, group intervention and uh, compar comparative group, and uh, three hundred one hundred one hundred and thirty-one participants are ivermectin taker, which occupy six percent of total population. And two hundred from non took, which is fifteen percent, and then of course we need to do the further test, which is the PCR. PCR is the one of the most widely used and effective, uh, and sensitive, uh, testing to the COVID nineteen. If, if the, uh, tested subjects, have, higher volume of loading viral, it will get. The results of positive, so it's really sensitive. If the uh PCR testing's result was negative, which means the subjects did not develop the COVID nineteen, it doesn't make sense. And then, as a result, in the ivermectin taker, taker, it's only two percent who develop、uh, the COVID nineteen according to the PCR, and、uh, in non takers, a Occupied eleven point seven percent who developed the COVID nineteen, and we can compare the two percent to eleven point seven percent. Two percent is far less than the eleven point seven percent. So, as a conclusion, according to some mathematical calculation,、uh, the adjusted relative risk、um, uh, uh, during following months after take the oral ivermectin. Is no point one seven, which is which indicates the the fact that after taking the the oral oral ivermectin, the subjects are able to lower the risk of getting infected by COVID nineteen by amazingly eighty three percent, and in terms of the adverse effect is one point eight percent present. In the whole employees, so that is pretty much everything. I think this is a a really a meaningful study, and、uh, however, more peer review work has to be done in order to in order to 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 prove its effectiveness and、uh, reasonableness. Okay, that is pretty much everything today. If you like my video, please don't forget give me a thumb and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.